So today on Butterbox, I'm yet to play, like literally play. You know how it is back then when you come outside and you play different games growing up and then your mother will come out and beat you for playing so much or for the fact that you injured yourself. <sighs> but these days, not so many children come out to play based on the fact that there's television, a lot of games, um, television games, electronics, technology. Technology is actually taking over the world, but hey. I'm here to show you our childhood games that we played while growing up, outdoor games. It's going to be fun. Let's just play. And don't tell my boss about this. Most of the childhood games played across the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria are similar when it comes to the way it is played, but slightly different in the songs that are accompanied with each game or the name of the game itself. This is mostly influenced by the location and language of the environment. I came along with friends to join other children play reminiscing that nostalgic feeling. We started off with Sue, a popular game in Nigeria played by drawing a long rectangle on the floor, splitting it into halves for each player, creating small boxes in the rectangle. A player throws a stone in a box, jumps around the rectangle on one foot, picks the stone and jumps out. Once a player can make it to the final round, the player builds a house and can step on his house with Then we moved over to 1010, a game played by facing each other singing and clapping. The main player faces group of players ensuring that she doesn't raise the same leg as the other players. If she does, she will have two more trials. If she fails, the next player comes in as the main player. Then we formed a big circle, hitting hands with each other, singing, and two children claps over the child in the middle, and the child in the middle bends down. This game is called African Bend Down. It keeps moving around till someone makes a mistake. Another circle game, which is usually identified by the first verse of the song, is the Willy Willy Willy. Players swing their hands together, singing. At a point, everyone pauses change styles then finally stops any movement from any player such player is out Another exciting game is Boju Boju, which means cover your face or eyes in Yoruba. This is a popular hide and seek where players run to hide while a player is covering his or her eyes until given the permission to open and look for the others. Oh, 
after the Boju Boju game, it was getting dark and we moved over to the popular hand game, Tinko Tinko. And we also played some other games like Who Can Swim or Moba Fausa, which is the popular fire on the mountain, Bread and Butter, which is a popular thug of war. In the bread and butter game, we make children pick the side they support by picking bread or butter, not knowing who their leader would be because both leaders have picked either bread or butter in secret. And luckily for me, my team won. but not the least which is very calm and relaxing usually done at night when the moon is out is called tales by moonlight where an adult or an elderly person tells a group of children fictional stories with lessons to be learned You can see through my legs that I've really played. I really enjoyed myself. It was so much fun. These are the games we play while growing up here in Nigeria. Right now, it's Tales by Moonlight. We tell stories when the moon is out. Let me know the games you play, the songs you sang in your country, your area, lo your location, whatever it is. Just let's share memories together. My name is Foley and this is Butterbox. Let me go and hear my story. Bata Box